So I like to make a review on the OnePlus 3T. I got it yesterday. I use it for 24 hours. I have to say this is a really great smartphone. I haven't had any issues with this smartphone right now because everything is going really, really well. So let's start it with the software. The software is amazing. It's almost a stock Android experience. The user interface looks really clean. You can do a lot of customization. You have all the features on the latest Android Nougat. It's running at Android 7.1.1 software version. So it's great. OnePlus did a fantastic job on make sure they have a similar user experience just like the phones from Google, like Pixel and the next series. So I think the software it's absolutely awesome. Everything runs super smooth on it. And then I like to talk about the design. The design it's pretty good. I got a midnight black version. I really recommend you to get a midnight black version because it re looks really cool. But I still put a case at the back which eh, doesn't make any sense but I need a case because I'm not a very responsible person to my phone. So I need a case. And the case is sandstone case. It feels really good. The texture is awesome. The feeling is pretty good. And most importantly, I found this phone feels really comfortably in my hand. It's a 5.5 inch. It's a pretty big film, but it really feels comfortable in my hand. I can hold it here. And it's really, really light. It's not that heavy. So, I mean, they did a fantastic job on make sure this film comfortably holding your hand. So I think it should fit in majority of people's hands. And yeah, that is part of design. And for the front, it's definitely a full black finish. I love black color. I love matte black. I love jet black. They look awesome. And the OnePlus 3T did a fantastic job on their midnight black version. So then I'd like to talk about something else. For example, display. The display is a 1080p Full HD AMOLED display. It's not a 2K display, but based on my feeling, I didn't see a huge difference between 2K displays and a 1080p displays on 5.5 inch screen. The 1080p AMOLED displays looks pretty awesome, pretty great. There's no question for that. Unless you are really, really, really selective on the displays, on the resolution, or you are a media consumption person, you really need a fantastic, amazing display. I think this phone should fit majority of people's, should be good for majority of people's. And OnePlus really smart, they make a switch here. You can see on the side button, you can switch between do not disturb mode, completely muted, or the regular mode. So I think this is a very, very smart move that you probably cannot see on another smartphone, but OnePlus did a really good job at this switch. I really love it, this button. And let's talk about the camera. The camera is not that good. It's not that good. I mean, it's not that good as the Google Pixel or the iPhone 7 Plus, but it's still an okay good camera. The image looks pretty, looks nice. And when I take it out to do some night shot at night, and it did a pretty great job of that, I have to say. So I don't know. I let me see, do I have a photo for that? Yeah, I take a photos. You probably can't see, can't see very well. I take it enough from my balcony in my home and it's not bad. It's good, but I won't say very, very good. So if a person that really matters, you want to do some kind of photography on your, using your smartphone camera, I recommend you to get the iPhone 7 Plus or the Google Pixel, why not this one? But for majority of people who just do a lot of shooting for travel, who should just do some basic shooting, I think the camera should fit majority of people's use. And the front facing camera, I'm not a person that takes a lot of selfies every day, so I doesn't realize notice a majority of difference between an 8 megapixel selfie camera versus a 16 megapixel selfie camera. I didn't really notice a big difference there. So I, I wouldn't comment on the front facing camera. And let me take a look. It's okay, I would say. It's okay. It's, it's a 16 megapixel front facing camera, if I'm right. Uh, 
it looks pretty cool. The image looks really, really clear, really, really good. In I would say a good selfie camera because the OnePlus 3 used an 8 megapixel selfie camera and the OnePlus 3T upgraded on that using a 16 megapixel selfie camera. And selfie camera is very important for some people, but for me, it's not a big deal at all. And let's talk about the speaker. The speaker is not good. If you're watching a lot of YouTube videos, I won't recommend you to getting this because the speaker is not good. When you listen to a lot of music, I won't recommend you to using this speaker. It's, there's only one tiny small speaker at the bottom, definitely not stereo speakers, and the sound quality is not that clear and it's not that loud. But if you but it has all the flagship features on a smartphone, so OnePlus has to sacrifice on some part to make sure they can control the budget and make sure this is a mid-price smartphone. So I think they sacrifice on the speaker qualities a little bit, on the display's quality a little bit, instead of using a full 2K display, they use a full HD display, but it's not a big deal for me. Uh, let me talk about battery. This phone doesn't last a full day for me. I charged it yesterday at night, and now it's just 3.45 p.m. I only have around 27% of battery, and I didn't play any games. I just do a video call last night. I just browse some news. I just browse some Twitter. I just send some message to my, to my friend. I download some app. I didn't do a lot of, like, really heavy tasks on the smartphone, but right now it's just around 27% of battery life. So the battery is not that big. It's not that efficient, but... The great thing is, you always have the dash charging. It is truly the fastest charger charging technology I have ever seen. The fastest charging technology I ever seen. I I started char I started charging my phone from around ten percent, and to hundred percent only takes around one hour and ten minutes to one hour and twenty minutes. Then that is really a fast speed comparing to my iPhone Seven Plus, which usually you need to fully charge for about three hours. Huge difference here. So overall, I have to say, the OnePlus did a very, very good job on this smartphone. It's definitely a slight improvement from the OnePlus 3. The OnePlus 3 is already a really good smartphone. The OnePlus 3 is just making it even better. So yeah, I would recommend it to, to everyone to get one. This is a really great smartphone if you're looking for one on the market right now, or you don't have that much budget for a real flagship smartphone. This one is pretty good already. This one is pretty, pretty good. And if you, I have to give a score on this smartphone, I will say a solid 8.5 out of 10. Well, for the iPhone 7 Plus, I can give around 9 out of 10. So this phone is definitely not bad. It's really, really good. So that's it for this short review. I am definitely not good at doing technology review, but I just want to share some of my experience on this. Uh, yeah, I hope you like it. And that's it for today. And see you guys tomorrow. Bye.